New tonight, a Charlotte woman says her dog was injured at the hands of a PetSmart groomer. Her Pomeranian Cobe suffered a painful cut on his eye. Kobe's mom says she didn't get any answers from PetSmart, so she reached out to our Defenders team. New tonight, our Savannah Levins uncovers more allegations and finally gets answers from the company. Nikki Blakeney says she brought her dog Kobe to this PetSmart location off of South Boulevard in Charlotte for a groom, but she says when she picked him up, she realized something was very wrong. Oh, come here, baby. Little Kobe is on the mend five days after reportedly suffering a cut to his eye. I want to know what happened. Owner Nikki Blakeney believes it happened Thursday while Kobe was being groomed at the PetSmart on South Boulevard, saying she noticed the injury after she picked him up. You know, it was blush I read. Look at it one more time. And so I called PetSmart and I said, hey, you know, is there any way maybe the shampoo could have gotten his eyes? Maybe you guys nicked them? And they said, no, nothing like that. You know, he had a great day. He was fine. But when Kobe didn't improve, his eye was completely shut. Nikki brought him back in to be evaluated. The vet confirmed Kobe had somehow been cut under his cornea. I have ointment that they gave me. I put it directly under his eye. Nikki says PetSmart paid for that visit, but hadn't returned her follow-up calls about Kobe's future medical costs. I reached out to PetSmart corporate and the company sent a statement saying, quote, according to Kobe's veterinary notes, he was diagnosed with a superficial corneal ulcer. While there is no way of knowing how the ulcer occurred, as a gesture of goodwill, we will continue to work with the pet parent to ensure Kobe receives proper treatment for his eye. Unfortunately, this isn't the only complaint recently filed against PetSmart. He's got cuts inside of his ears. He's got them on both shoulders, the side of his head. Just last year, I interviewed Michelle and Larry Luce, who says their dog suffered several cuts after being groomed at the Afton Village PetSmart. Well, they did x-rays and saw something in his neck with his vertebrae, thinking maybe, you know, the thrashing. And maybe he came off the table and was hanging. An investigation done by online news agency NJ Advanced Media found 47 deaths since 2008 connected to PetSmart. The company is saying they follow the, quote, highest grooming safety standards in the industry for the 13 million pets groomed there every year. But get this, we found there are no state requirements for any groomers in the Carolinas to be certified at all. I mean, if you make a mistake, you know, it's OK. You know, I wouldn't be as upset about it as I am right now if they said, OK, we messed up. We accidentally got him with the scissors. Nikki says she'll be watching every moment of Kobe's grooming appointments from now on and advises other pet parents do the same. I definitely think it's a policy change that needs to happen. There have been bills proposed and filed in the Carolinas that would require certification for groomers, but so far nothing has passed. PetSmart does offer its own grooming academy for employees. Reporting for NBC Charlotte, I'm Savannah Levins. I'll send it back to you.